For the first time since 2015, the Providence Friars won at the Ryan Center, defeating URI 88 to 74. The game was neck and neck for the bulk of the first half, but the Friars looked to the older guys on the team, going on a 17 to two run to close the half, which ultimately made the difference in this one. Anytime you can win on the road, let alone, uh, you know, in an environment like this, it just gives your players confidence. It gives them, you know, a unity that, you know, you can go into someone's building and play collectively. And, you know, when you see across the board how the ball was shared, uh, I thought our leadership was big time today, which is something that we've been trying to concentrate on. Uh, you know, not many people are going to walk in this building and come away with a win with a crowd like that. Bryce Hopkins had a big impact on both ends, scoring 14 points and grabbing 15 rebounds. The sophomore still has another level to get to, according to coach. Stat-wise, I think Bryce played it played well. Uh, there's, there's two or three more levels in Bryce Hopkins. And what you're seeing from Bryce versus these two guys, he didn't play the minutes he wanted last year at his, his other school. He's just learning how to be a focal point. He's learning how to be versatile. This to me is, uh, he should do this every night. If not, he should do more. He really should. It's not like he's not playing. He has the green light to do a lot of different things, but his versatility the best Bryce Hopkins is yet to be seen, and I'm looking forward to seeing that come out of him. Coach uh, wanted us to um, make it a point to rebound, and um, he told me that he expects me to get at least 10 rebounds or 15. He said one game he wanted me to get 20, so, you know, I just try to crash the glass as much you as I can. You didn't do it, though. You didn't do it. <laughs> I just try to crash the glass Maybe. as much as I can. <laughs> Alan Breed also made an impact with nine points and five rebounds, which provided a spark to his teammates. He always brings energy whenever he's in the game, and you know he's the kind of guy that we look to when he gets in the game to make something happen and you know give us an extra boost. Whether it's getting a steal, getting a stop, guarding the best player on the other team, you know getting the and one, making a big three. You know he can do it. He's capable of doing all those things. So you know when he does them, it's not a surprise to me, but you know it brings a, a, a big energy boost to the rest of the team. Next up, the Friars play Manhattan Wednesday night at 8.30 p.m. at the AMP. As always, make sure you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. It would really make our day, I promise you that. For PC Friars MVB, I'm Nick Rojas.